Greetings Raptor families. My name is Linnea Garrett and I am the Associate Principal of Educational Services at the Fine Arts and Communications Campus. I would like to take some time to share the registration process and how to access specific information in order for you to complete registration. To be best prepared to complete the registration process, I will walk you through the necessary documents to have ready, usernames and passwords needed, and about 45 minutes to an hour set aside to complete the task. I will also share some troubleshooting steps and supports if you experience any problems in the process. To start the process, you will need your parent power school username and password. If you have never created an account, you should have the letter that was sent to you in May of 2022 that includes your student access code. You will need that information to create an account. If you do not have this information anymore, please reach out to technology at rich227.org to obtain this information. Once you have this information, you will follow these steps. First, you will click on PowerSchool information that is at the top of our home website. Here you will go to Parent and Student Login. Here you will see two tabs, a sign-in tab and create an account. If you have never set up your Parent PowerSchool account, you will first need to create an account. Here you will enter your first and last name, an email address, a desired username and password. Please remember to keep track of your usernames and passwords as these will be needed for the rest of the year while your student is in school. In order to link to your student account, you will write, type in your student name and here is where you will enter their student access ID and password. You will choose the relationship that you are to the student and you can add up to seven students. Once you are completed, you will press the enter button. At this point, it will ask you to confirm your email address and it will send you a response to your email to confirm that it is the correct email address to get started. Please be aware that when you submit this information, it could take up to 24 hours for you to receive a confirmation email from PowerSchool confirming the creation of the account. If you do not receive this confirmation email after 24 hours, please reach out to technology at rich227.org. Once you receive this confirmation, or if you already have your Parent PowerSchool account from the past, please log in to your Parent PowerSchool account. And if you are still unable to access your PowerSchool account after these steps, feel free to come in to our in-person support registration events to receive in-person support. To find the dates of, that of, of these upcoming events, you will click on the registration tab that is at the top of our website and scroll down to our upcoming dates that will be and times that are at the STEM campus. Before you start the registration process with your Parent PowerSchool account, in order to be best prepared, please make sure you have all necessary documents scanned and ready to be uploaded where needed. You can scan a PDF or JPEG from a computer file or even on your phone. To ensure you have all the necessary documents, please go to the district website registration tab and click the tab that matches your child for the upcoming school year. I am on the registration tab. If you have a returning student, you will click the letter here. If you have an incoming freshman or a transfer student, you will click this link. Here you will find all necessary documents. When I click on the returning student, you will see required medical forms if your child has been out of compliance the past years. Remember, all 12th graders will need to have an immunization record that includes a recent meningitis vaccination. Please note that any child in grade 10 through 12 that were not medically compliant in a prior school year will be required to submit all necessary medical documents this year during registration. In addition, when you scroll down, you will see required residency proofs from parents or homeowners. Please make sure you identify and scan 
want at least one of the following, a driver's license or a state ID, a current lease or a current mortgage, and at least two dated within the last 60 days of any of the documents that are listed below. You will need these documents scanned to be uploaded in the portal when I show you where the registration forms are located. If you have a student in the, coming into the ninth grade or a transfer student, please click on the tab identified for those students and please scroll down to make sure you have read all the additional documents that you will need. All incoming ninth graders are required to have a, a physical on file dated within the last school year, as well as a updated dental exam and immunization records. In addition, all incoming ninth graders and transfer students will need to submit a birth certificate, a report card and or transcript, as well as all residency proofs. If you do not have access to a scanner and or are unable to scan to your phone, Please review, again, our upcoming registration dates to attend our in-person registration support, and you can scan all documents and complete the registration process at the school building with support. You are now ready to complete your registration in PowerSchool. I will walk you through this process so that you are aware of what you will need to do. So once again, with your parent PowerSchool account, you will click on PowerSchool and go to the parent and student login. Here is where you will use your email address that you use to create your account and the password that you use to set up your account. It will take you to this page where on the left hand side you will see, and I am going to go to this student, you will see on the left hand side a button titled forms. Click on forms. Once you have clicked on forms, you will click on the enrollment tab. Here is where you will see eight forms that need to be completed. In each form, you will be asked in, at different stages for possible uploads, including student info update for incoming ninth graders. Here is where you would submit your birth certificate. Student address would be where you would upload your residency documents. Health information, you would attach your medical records. So when you go into each tab, and you must complete all eight tabs to be completed with registration, you will be prompted to either review documents that have been loaded into PowerSchool for accuracy to make sure name, birth date, email, etc. are all accurate. And again, if they are not, you will cho choose. And if you are required to upload a document, it will show it at the bottom. I will click on residency so that you can see. So in residency, again, it will tell you what the identified things you can submit are. And here you will press upload. You will attach the file and simply press upload. Remember, at the end of each form, there is a submit button. Please make sure you hit the submit button before moving on to the next form. You are welcome to complete the forms in any order, but they all must be completed in order for your child to be complete, to be completely registered. Please be aware that for forms that have uploads, it does require an approval process. You will receive an email back. So when I show you this form of this student, this student had submitted forms around guardian information and it had been reviewed and rejected. When documents are approved or rejected, you will receive an email back. 
when there are rejections, there will also be a notation explaining what the rejection was for and what needs to be changed. You will simply go back into your PowerSchool account and update the information. Please also be aware that it is taking up to two weeks to approve various documents. Please be patient. If you run into any difficulties during this process, feel free to come in to our in-person registration supports days and times that are listed again on the home webpage under registration. We hope this video helped in walking you through the registration process.